So we'll look at what type of soil you've got around where you live or, you know, collect some soil from somewhere, just to get permission first. You really do need a jam jar or a clear, clean jar. This was clear and clean when I started. Use a trowel or a spool, anything, and find an area where you're interested in. Now, during winter months, not many things grow, but at some times of the year, you can see if you look around, ah, oh, there's something growing there, there's weeds growing there, there's nothing growing there, I wonder why. And you could actually collect two samples. One where you've got lots of weeds growing, buttercups, clover, dandelions, and one where you've got absolutely nothing growing. And you can compare them, and that might give you a clue why. Things like to grow where there's rotting materials, leaves, rotting invertebrate, and that's called hummus, and that's the best kind of soil. But we also have clay soil, sandy soil. There are lots of different kinds of soil, but how do we know? So if you look at that soil now, you can see and you can hear, there are some tiny little pebbles and stones in there. I can see some really, really dark black soil. I can see little bits of leaves, little bits of dying stems from a plant, but it doesn't really tell me if this is good soil doesn't tell me that there's a great way to find out so you've collected your sample you've got it in a jam jar and it's a jam jar with a lid you then fill the jar almost to the top with just ordinary tap water that's all it is replace the lid really really well and for once in science we shake and you shake it until the water is completely mixed in with the soil and then we leave it you leave it to settle and what you'll see if you leave it for about an hour is that the soil will begin to separate into layers it's already separating into layers now the heavy stuff at the bottom you can see there there's a slightly different color and that's a layer of soil there's a another layer there and floating on the top I don't know if you can see that, but you've actually got the leaves and stems and stalks from dying plants. And that's the good bit of the soil. This is pretty good soil. There's a layer there, a layer there, a layer there, one there and one there. And that's within, what, 30 seconds. You leave that for an hour or so and you will be able to identify all the different kinds of soil. Because the heavier soil will drop to the bottom. The hummus and the dying vegetation and plants will float on the top. And so if you leave it overnight, look it up on the internet, you'll be able to look this investigation up and it will show you the different layers. Find out if you've got the best soil. Take a picture or draw a diagram of your result and label the layers using your research. And that's a fantastic investigation. Combine that with your tall grown funnel results. Can you see the layers already? If we look at it in the light there, I think you can see it. Combine the two and you will know how healthy your soil is.